Welcome back to the channel. It is Ashley here and I'm putting you guys on some more free game with another frontal wig install. So if y'all want to see this slay, keep watching. I'm here today with my makeup artist, Markia. So this is her wig. These are my hair extensions and I also constructed this wig, machine wefted and I plucked and I bleached the knots. So first I'm moisturizing her hair with wild growth hair oil. It is very essential to moisturize the scalp first and foremost before applying any units or anything of that sort. Next, I'm taking a needle and thread and I'm just sewing down her braids in the back. This just helps it, um, helps the wig lay a lot flatter. Um, I've seen people do this with like the crochet needle and looping the braids through each other. So whatever fits your preference, but this is just what I do for a really flat, nice install. Next, I'm taking my black bottle of Got To Be Gel and I'm slicking back those edges. She has a low hairline and people that have low hairlines, for example, you do not want any of their baby hairs exposed when you do install a wig because once that lace glue hits your baby hairs and then you try to take it off, like those hairs will be gone. So just make sure that you slick back as much hair as possible, um, low hairline or not, this is very important. And of course, afterwards, just take your brush, we'll slick back those edges and then spray her down with um, some Got To Be Free spray and then blow dry it back. Next, I'm applying the stocking cap, of course, lighter tones for lighter skin tones. And then I'm using my small scissors to just cut her um, ear holes out. Um, and then we're gonna proceed to spray that free spray down to lay that bald cap. And once I secure that cap with the free spray, I do let it harden under the dryer for a good five to seven minutes. And then I take her out and I proceed to apply her makeup all over her cap. So the makeup is of course the shade of her skin tone and I'm applying it all over the hairline and then bringing it back, back to where the parting will stop almost cause you want that makeup to follow uh, the parting space as well. And now I'm just taking my scissors and I'm cutting that cap off. Make sure that you follow the hairline of your clients when you cut that cap off. Don't just cut it straight across because um, when you do lay that frontal, um, the way that you pluck the frontal, or at least me, I pluck it to you know kind of match the person's hairline. So make sure that you also cut the cap in the same way. Next, I'm cleaning around her hairline with, I think, either 91% alcohol or 70%, but either or works. Um, and then I'm also going in with my skin protectant from Bold Hold. Um, usually, I would try to match the same skin protectant with the same brand glue that you use, because I used to use Bold Hold, but now I use a different kind of glue. But I mean, either or works. And if you don't have skin protectant, just use a witch hazel instead. So now I'm taking that unit and I'm applying it to her head. I always have my client hold it down at the front as I adjust the back and all my units come with combs in the back. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, basically see where I wanna place that um, lace down, see if enough of the ball cap is also cut down underneath. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and position to cut those ear tabs off. to cut the lace in three sections so I have that middle piece and then the two side flaps at the side it just helps me to lay it a lot better a lot flatter 
um, but that's just for me. And then I'll go ahead and clip those back with some clip. And of course, I'm using Erica J Hold Me Down Adhesive, the best lace glue on the market right now. You guys get yours for real. It's better than any lace glue I've ever used, and I've used a lot. So of course, the first step I'm doing is I'm applying that lace glue on her cap first. That is the first thing I do. I always make sure that I melt the cap with the lace glue. Reason being, you guys, if you know the person sweats a lot, or you know, even just getting in the shower simply with their wig, like that cap underneath really isn't secure if you don't put any kind of adhesive on it to hold it down so that cap can definitely slide back even when their glue is still glued down does that make sense so make sure that you um secure that cap with some form of adhesive because i mean the got to be glue that we sprayed on it earlier is strong but it's not strong strong so you want to make sure that you also melt that cap with um, the lace if that makes sense so I do that for the first layer blow dry it, and then I'll go in with my um, next two to three layers for her I did four layers so my next few layers um, on the skin where that lace will lay So once that last layer is pretty much tacky enough for you to lay that lace down, I start with my middle section that I cut and I lay that first. And then I'll go on to lay the two sides. And as I lay, I just take my rat tail comb and I'm pushing that comb um, where I laid that lace down on the glue and I'm pushing it back into the hairline. It just helps the melt um, a lot better. Cut that lace off i do use an eyebrow razor from the beauty supply you guys it's no more than like a dollar kid you not um and then if i need to touch up with scissors with my shears i definitely will So before we tie that lace down, we're going to go ahead and carve out the part first. That's really important to just melt that part and also take out the baby hairs before you melt that lace. Then I'm going to slick it down with my wax stick. I get my wax stick from the Beast Pie and my trick to that nice, sleek middle part pressed down in the middle, y'all. It's really no trick. It's really no secret. It's just a hot comb and I get mine from Amazon. I will link it down below. It's from Andy's. Andy's. Everybody on YouTube pretty much has it, you guys, for the most part. It comes in gold and black, so I'm sure y'all have seen it before. And after that, I'm just carving out her baby hairs with my rat toe comb. So I like the baby hairs that start on the side with middle parts. It's just more natural looking. Um, and I pretty much just try to mimic them on the other side. So I make sure that I take out the same amount of baby hair on one side as I do on the other. And I have her hold it down. You guys can see that melts like... Where is the lace, sis? I just had to stop myself real quick because where is the lace? Like, that is pure scalp. It's really grown from her head. Like, you can't tell her no different, period. So, sometimes before I lay that lace down with my band, I like to take my Nairobi mousse and I want to push that hairline back. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to create that really nice, like, bump scalp effect so i push that hairline back with my mousse and then i tie that lace down and that just creates like that real life melt like that real deal melt because when you take that band off after you push the hair back the hairline back with the mousse yeah like that's something serious so make sure that y'all do that for sure <music> tip for you guys so of course we already hot comb that part straight down the middle right but what you want to do to create that really nice like that really nice finish when you're done styling you want to prep it first so you're gonna take your rat tail comb you're gonna section off that track that wraps around that very last track at the top that very last track right by the, the closure or frontal right you want to cover that track you want to cover you don't want your track showing like that's very much middle school high school like we don't want that so you're gonna section off a piece of hair from that frontal and you're gonna place that hair over watch what i'm doing you're gonna place that hair over that track at the top right to cover it and then you're gonna go back in with the hot comb and you're gonna hot comb that down that creates like a really nice 
oh, I don't even know how to describe it. It just, it just makes it neat. Like, it's so neat. It's such a nice finish. Like, you guys seen at the beginning of the video when she turned around. Like, it was super neat. You didn't see no tracks or nothing. So, that's a really good way to, like, really prep your hair before styling. And now I'm taking my Fantasia Heat Protectant Serum. This is a really, really good serum. Very cheap as well. And I'm rubbing that in my hands first before you just slap it right onto the hair don't do that because it just makes the hair super greasy and oily so it's rub it in your hands first and then you're going to apply that all through the hair um, to prep for styling so I always work in sections when styling the hair. I split it straight down in the middle and the back. I take one side and I clamp it to the side, as well as tying down those, uh, or twisting rather, those baby hairs out of the client's way. And then I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to start on one side. So today we're doing wand curls, and guys, I have not done wand curls in so long. Like literally, I have not used this wand curler since probably high school, and I still have it now, which is super crazy. Um, the brand is Revlon, if I'm not mistaken. I got it from Walmart, and I think it was $19.99. If not, it was probably like $15.99, but you guys, it was no more than $20. And this uh, wand curler, like it still curls so great to this day, like till this day. So please get you one. Like you do not need to buy expensive hair products because trust me, I don't. Um, so yeah, I'm just taking like medium to small sections. I try to do like bigger wand curls starting in the back and then I make them smaller as I uh, get towards the top. And I'm probably going to hold it around, hold the hair around the wand for maybe like seven to 10 seconds. And then when I let it go, I just clamp it in my hands because you know, gravity does bring down the curl. So I clamp it in my hand for a little bit, let it get hot, and then I drop it. And that's just the same repetitive process that I'm going to do throughout the entire head. So I'm just going to speed it through and then you guys will see closer to the end. So we have made it through the wand curls and as you guys can tell her edges are already wrapped down i did go ahead and do her edges off camera if you guys follow me on my uh, business page which you should you guys will see that i did a small little you know demo of me doing her baby hair with the mousse and the got to be which i always use and now to separate these wand curls i'm not going to just use my fingers and run them through i was actually kind of you know indecisive about what i should do because this is my first time doing wand curls on somebody else besides myself so what i did was i just used my hand my fingers rather and I separated each single curl into two or three to just kind of make them fuller and less like baby doll looking you know so that's really all I did and then I just went back in with my hot comb and I kind of just uh flattened the top a little bit because I wanted that top to lay like butter okay and yeah so that was really it again the inches that she is wearing is a 16 18 20 um, for her bundles and then for her lace uh, 13 by 4 frontal is a 14 inch so the layers were really really nice with the wand curls um, I'm really happy about how this look turned out and I really hope that you guys did too please give me a big thumbs up comment down below if you guys like this look if you guys want more tutorials some more slays some more free game please let me know um, follow me on my business page if you guys are in the Valdosta area please book an appointment um, support 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 I really do appreciate all of it thank you guys so much much hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my very next video bye guys